Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of Bonding with Food, the chemistry of delicious. <laughs> On today's episode, we will be making and discovering the science behind soft pretzels. Woo! Okay. Many of you are quite familiar with this classic ballpark snack. However, very few people actually know the chemistry that goes on behind the scenes to create the taste you know and love. Step one on the procedure for this lab is to gather materials, which include... Yeast. Four teaspoons of active dry yeast. A half a cup and one teaspoon of white sugar. Five cups of all-purpose flour. One and a half teaspoons of table salt and a fourth a cup of kosher salt for topping. <laughs> half a cup of baking soda. One tablespoon of vegetable oil. Five and a quarter cups of warm water. Before we go any further, it's important to wash your hands to prevent any contamination. And now we will preheat the oven to 450 degrees. teaspoon of sugar and one and a fourth cup of warm water. Then we will let stand until creamy, roughly about 10 minutes. Okay. In a large bowl, mix together flour, five cups, half a cup of sugar, and salt. Make a well in the center, add the oil and yeast mixture. Make sure to whisk to create a homogeneous mixture. Like so. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will have to create a well in the middle of the mixture. Now that the yeast mixture has sat for 10 minutes, you can pour it into the well as well as with the oil. We will add three <laughs> teaspoons of oil for this recipe. Now we add in our yeast mixture which has creamed and is warm to the touch. mix and form it into a dough. Continue to knead the dough as much of the mixture as you can. If your dough is too dry like ours, see how much flour we have left over? Um, make sure to add some water so you can Use all of it. Once you have finished kneading the dough, lightly coat the bowl in oil. Then place the ball of dough in the bowl and lightly coat the top with oil as well. After you 
we've covered the dough with oil, cover the bowl with plastic wrap and let sit until it rises. Um, let roughly leave it for about an hour in a warm spot. <laughs> After an hour, the dough will have risen greatly. <laughs> wow. Now we are going to separate the dough into 12 equal pieces and twist it so we can form individual pretzels. step of pretzel making, the outer coating. Typically, soft pretzels are dipped in a solution called lye, which is also known as sodium hydroxide. This alkaline solution has a pH of 14, is essentially the same stuff that's used to make soap and clean drains, and wow. it can even be used to dissolve glass. That's strong stuff. You bet. Although it may not seem quite appealing at this point, the lye changes the pretzel's flavor and color in a way you can't really explain until you taste it. Um, because the solution is heavily diluted and the pretzels, um, the pretzels are baked after coating, the end result is safe to eat. Okay, however, we're going to aid on the side of caution and substitute lye for baking soda. Baking soda has a potential to reach about 9.5 on the pH scale, and since it's a little bit less than 14, we're just going to use a more concentrated amount for our pretzels. Yep. Okay, so we're going to dissolve half a cup of baking soda into four cups of warm or hot water. And stir to dissolve. So now we will mix baking soda into water and bring it to a boil. Next, we will put our rubber gloves on and dip the pretzels for 30 seconds to a minute, and then we will turn and leave them in the solution for another 30 seconds. Then we're going to take them out carefully with a slotted spoon and dry them off, patting them with a paper towel. Afterwards, we're going to place them onto a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and sprinkle them with salt. The dipping process is an important part of pretzel baking because the alkaline lye bath affects the way the, the mylar reaction plays out when the pretzel bakes. Um, it shapes the way the crust forms and tastes. In the case of the pretzel, the mylar reaction is, is responsible for the, dip the deep brown crust, crunchy arms, and <laughs> distinctive taste. So the Mylard reaction basically entails a heat activated reaction between small sugars and amino acids. Dipping dough in the lye alters the ratio between sugar and protein, and because the lye breaks down the proteins in the dough into smaller bits, those small amino acids are able to combine with sugars and create the flavor and the compounds inside the pretzel's crust. The last step before baking is to sprinkle them with a little bit of kosher salt. golden brown about eight minutes I've got my eye on you <laughs> here is what the pretzels will look like before you put them into the oven and this is what they should look like after they come out of the oven 
Again, it's a row eight minutes or until they're golden brown. Leavener is something that makes bread rise by producing carbon dioxide. Baking soda was a chemical leavener in our recipe and it was able to produce carbon dioxide that made the dough rise. For soft pretzels, we will use a biological leavener, yeast, to create the chemical reaction uh, that will make our pretzels rise. Yeast is a fungus that provides a distinct flavor in breads, and when activated with warm water and sugar, the yeast produces CO2 and alcohol. CO2 is a gas that makes bread rise, and alcohol provides the distinctive flavor that we often associated with leavened bread. Yeast makes bread rise by eating the sugar and converting the sugars into alcohol and CO2. Uh, the dough rises as the yeast digests the sugars and releases the carbon dioxide. The chemical reaction actually happens inside of the yeast. As you can see, the Mylan reaction is complete because the crust is browned. Okay, so we will be taking our first bites of the pretzel. <laughs> first. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, right away I can really tell there's a this nice distinct flavor of the crust, but the inside is really warm and it's not too hard, it's kind of moist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely. Really, it's very airy too. Yeah, it's really good. And the nice salt on the outside isn't too overpowering either. Yeah, this is a great recipe. Two thumbs up. Four uh, thumbs up. Four <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> All right, and that's a wrap on today's episode, or should I say a twist? Wow, Sydney, you're so damn funny. <laughs> Thanks, Marion. I like to make chemistry jokes periodically. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Bonding with Food, the Chemistry of Delicious. See you next week to discover the science behind another one of your favorite foods. Bye. Bye. <laughs>